Hey guys, welcome to the Dogfather's Barbecue YouTube channel. I'm the Dogfather. And hey, guys, if you're new here, welcome. And consider uh, subscribing to the channel so you can keep up with what's going on here. All you gotta do is click on that little uh, box down there, my logo. Click on that logo, subscribe, turn on the bell, get the notifications. Hey, if you're already part of the Dog Pound, your Dog Pound, what's up? So today I got something a little different for you. We're gonna do some oxtails. That's right, you heard me, oxtails. <laughs> They're fantastic, dude. If you've never tried them, you gotta try them. So today, like I said, oxtails. Y'all with it? Let's get it. All right, so oxtail. What is oxtails? Well, you know, it's actually the tail from a cow. And uh, man, it's a good, rich, fatty cut of meat. You know, yeah, you got the bones and stuff to deal with, but it's a lot of good nuggets of meat in there that uh, are very succulent. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, today, we're gonna actually use some Texas sausage barbecue rub. You know, I went and saw my man Scott over there at Texas Sausage, and I tell you what, he's got some fantastic products over there. So I'll definitely leave a link down below so you guys can check that out, see what they have to offer. Maybe you can get you some of that sausage. I'm telling you, the jalapeno cheese sausage they got there, man, it's phenomenal. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, oxtails seasoned up and get them ready for the grill, all right? All right, guys, so we already got our oxtails out of the package here, and I just got them from my uh, local grocery store. And uh, we're gonna put this rub on it. And I'm excited about trying this rub because I'm telling you, it's got a great smokiness to it, and it's got some good saltiness to it. And so I'm just basically gonna cover these uh, oxtails in this, uh, in this rub. And I'm only gonna use just this rub. I'm not even gonna put a binder or anything on it because they're already kind of liquidy there. So I think they're gonna be okay. Uh, and I'm, again, I'm just gonna use just this rub today. I'm not even gonna put a AP on or anything because I just wanna see how this rub is gonna come out. So we're just gonna liberally coat these things with it and uh, let them hang out while we get the pit ready. Um, today, I'm gonna be cooking these on the uh, Weber kettle with my slow and sear. And if you guys don't know how to set that up for the slow and sear, um, you know, hey, you must be new here. <laughs> Go check out my other videos where I, uh, I actually set that thing up quite often if you don't know how to use it. For the rest of you guys that know how to use it, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up the slow and sear today. We're gonna use that B&B charcoal because I love that B&B charcoal, man. It burns really well. It burns hot and it burns long. So we're gonna use some B&B, uh, and uh, I think we're gonna put some. Uh, I think we're gonna put some hickory wood in, in here today. So we got these guys all seasoned up. They're ready to go, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to put it on the grill. All right. Alrighty guys, so we got our uh, pit lit up. We got the oxtail seasoned, so uh, let's get them put on, all right? So they've been hanging out here a little while and I think the seasoning's on it really well, so we're gonna just dump them on here. And so there you go, guys, they're on. So we're just gonna let them hang out and uh, we're gonna get the lid put back on and we're ready to go. All right, so basically guys, we got them on the grill. We're gonna let them smoke away here and um, I'll probably let them go until they get to the color that I want them uh, to get in. And at that point, we'll put them in a, uh, in a foil pan and we'll add a little uh, beef broth and we'll let them braise away, all right? So I'll bring you guys back then, all right? All right guys, so look, we got our uh, oxtails to the color that we want them. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start braising them. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a pan. And in this pan, I've got uh, two cups of beef broth. You can use whatever one you want. I'm using a low sodium one today. And I also added a, uh, a cup of red wine. And again, use whatever red wine you want. So I'm going to get these guys put in here and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so I'm literally just going to pop these guys into the pan here.
And that about does it. So all I'm gonna do is cover it in aluminum foil and let it go. And I'll bring you back in a while. Hey guys, all right, so it's time for us to check our oxtails. Uh, they've been braising away in the uh, red wine and the, uh, the beef broth for a while here. So we're gonna check them for tenderness. I want them to be fall apart, man, because I want to be able to shred this meat off the bones. You know what I mean? So uh, let's take a look and see how they look. Ah, they shrunk down quite a bit. Uh, it smells really good. And I like the way that's looking, but uh, I think I want to let these things go a little longer, guys. So I'm going to wrap them back up and I'm going to let them keep going for a little bit and uh, we'll check them in a little while, all right? All right, guys, so hey, so the uh, oxtails we finished up, actually. I pulled them off, and um, once I pulled them off, they have a, a fantastic aroma. I mean, man, that, that wine and the uh, beef broth, oh my goodness. So anyway, um, I got them to where basically they're just like ready to fall off the bone, guys. And uh, so what I did was I just put on some gloves, and I grabbed them and just pulled the meat right off the bones, you know? and. Uh, you could do it that way, or if you just want to eat off the bone and, and do it kind of caveman style, go for it. You know, ain't nobody gonna judge you. But um, yeah, I went ahead and pulled all the meat off the bones, guys, and I went ahead and uh, we do a little bit of a keto thing here. So we made some uh, keto drop biscuits, and I basically split a biscuit in half and uh, put some of this on top of it, and we made a sandwich with it. This is what I got here for you. So there you go. Braised oxtails. Smoked braised oxtails, guys. Little barbecue sauce on the side. And uh, you don't even have to make a sandwich out of it, guys. If you want to, you could put it on some rice or put it on some uh, broccoli or whatever you want to eat it with. You know, again, nobody's gonna judge you, man. It's, it's good eating. So if you haven't tried smoked oxtails, I'll tell you, go out there and try it, guys. I think you'll like it. All right, until next time, dog father out. Peace.